<laughs> Ooh, he sniffs the camera. Oh, whoa, chill out, man, chill out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> See, how's the camera okay? Damn, I forgot the video topic of this video. <laughs> I just woke up like two hours ago. I slept at 5 pm because I woke up at 4 am. So I, I, I was awake for 13 hours, and then I slept for 7 hours. I woke up at 12. I thought it was 5 hours, I fucking idiot. No, 7. Um, so along the lines of like men don't cry. I find it a pretty weird topic. No, it's two, 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 two topics. I thought about men don't cry first. I think as a man, it is okay to cry sometimes, and that's sometimes only comes about when life is extraordinarily difficult and you don't really see a way out. And that's only a like, time where it's viable and it's socially acceptable for men to cry. In fact, if anything, I've cried on my boy's shoulders before. I think crying sometimes is a good sign of relief and, if anything, it's a good sign of expressing emotion that we're often told not to express. But you can't just cry all the time because then you're seen as weak. And reputation, like Ian Foy, and also power, is everything you should guard with your life. It's, it's a lot of pressure. Man, this guy's leaving, bro. Who's he? Hongi? I think that it's, it's weird. Life as a man is extraordinarily difficult. It's such just it's often stressful. So it's often worry, worrisome. And especially if you're a man. On self improvement, I think it's called plus a woman as well on self improvement because a lot of women on self improvement would be like, Yeah, none of these guys are like up to my standard. Like, how can you be a woman on self improvement? Like, you constantly improve yourself, go to the gym, making money, and then you just see the guys around you that are just loser geeks. It's just difficult for women these days, I'll, I'll be honest. Men, a lot of men are like, Oh, but life as a man is super hard, and <laughs> like, you're not doing anything in order to negate difficulty. And it's usually the geeks that say this to pipe up, say this shit. Of course she's not gonna sleep with you. Of course she's not gonna like you. You're a loser. It's hard for everyone out here. Dating market is completely skewed. Like, um, you see a lot as well. Like, it's kind of sad and unfortunate in my eyes. There's nothing I can do about it. I have no power. I have no platform. It's just me and my cat. <laughs> Yeah, and just imagine trying to date. Like I remember, like I saw this like thirty-year-old woman. She was trying to find a trouble to date. She wasn't like particularly unattractive either. It's just that she was thirty. Well, I don't know if she was. I don't know if she was a single mom or something like that. But yeah, it's just, I guess it's just sad. Unless you're like a hot and nah, with social media, it portrays. I think you still find love, obviously, you exist in reality. But you have to shoot way below the margins in which you were. How do I say this? Previously considered acceptable. Yeah, it's like, uh, I see a lot of the guys that pop up about this shit, it's like, yo, it's so hard, it's a man, it's really difficult when they're all broke, aimless, sad, video gamers, fat, geeks, like, of course she's not gonna like you, but the reward for muscle, at least, or the reward for increasing your looks, for example, is there for the taking, all you need to do is take it, is the lighting on this bad, the light comes on this way, this one already hits as well. Come with me, and you'll see. Hold on, the world imagination. So I've been awake for about two hours, 45 minutes. I think I'm going back soon. Because I have to. But it's very, very interesting. Um, anyway, back, back to the main topic men don't cry. I think men shouldn't cry because. If honestly, it doesn't solve anything. As men, like we. Dealing with the problem solvers and 
Like belly rub? Oh, you don't you don't like belly rub? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, adorable man. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm recording a video for YouTube. <laughs> okay, I'm so easy. Whoa, big stretch. Big stretch. Damn. Bro became the Puma logo. <laughs> Why is your tail? I'm not even touching. I'm not. Even, I'm not doing anything. Mm. Okay, I think he's hungry. Let me ask him. Meow. Meow. Dion. 2am, I can't feed you this time, I feed you at 5am. Oh. I've been breath for 5. The reward for masculine excellence is therefore taking, I think crying is a pretty big waste of time. This year alone, I think I've cried probably around zero times. <laughs> 2022, it was a turbulent time, in the beginning of the year I probably cried at least once or twice a month, and then I just stopped crying afterwards. And this doesn't mean like I'm completely shunning guys for crying. I think, if anything, I empathize with them anymore, with, with, them, with them more if they cry. Because it just goes to show the raw human at the end of the day. There's a limit on what we can tolerate. But then again, just crying all the time, being a baby, is very, very unattractive to women, to men, the person that they probably want to be. Like, if you're sad, you're probably sad about something. And if you're sad about something, then. The only thing you can realistically do is change it and crying to solve anything like that. Crying is just a, it's a weird topic. Because if something traumatic happens to you, I, I, can't, I can't hold you, you cry. I'll cry your heart out. You know, if you're saying that like, really means something to you, like you've got to kind of, you know, it could be an arbitrary number. You could at least earn a bunch of money, and then it could be like, you reach your first million dollars or something like that, which is quite foreign to a lot of people. But it's very, very common as well because the top 5% of people is still 400 million people. You reach your first million dollars and you, you cry in tears, not necessarily because of the arbitrary number that money has. It's because of the freedom that allows you. What did Ralph Waldo Emerson say again? The, the, desire, the, means, the desire for gold is not for gold, it is for the means of freedom and benefit. Ralph Waldo Emerson. And it's completely and utterly true. In every sense of the word, dude. Gold, gold, gold is just a mineral. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> the fact that people value gold and you have a bunch of it and you get to do whatever you want now and you don't have to have a boss on your, your neck and you don't have responsibilities piled up on you. You get to explore the world, you get to appreciate culture, you get to live life as if you're a child again without a single care in the world. It's kind of it's like, it's, it's a bell curve, right? You're a child, you don't care about anything, you, you become an adult. You, too much responsibility, you care about a lot, too, a lot of stuff, too much stuff, and then you desire money because it allows you to go back down to the bell curve where you don't care about anything anymore, and then you just have that childish level of freedom, which leads to hopefully a childish level of happiness. And this ties in with the men don't cry thing because a lot, a lot of men cry these days. We're in that moment in which you know the hard times create strong men, strong men create good times, good times create weak men. Weak men create hard times. We're in that weak men create hard times. Now that's very strong men. We're in the transitional era. I remember I was watching a video on, on Hamza's video, and I think it's a, a dark time is coming on all of us. And it was like a super. It sounded like a super conspiracy type theory video, but it, it, in actuality, it wasn't. If anything, it was based on roots of truth. Every day, real life, like you see it only in social media. You see individuals that are. Completely and utterly, how do I say this? Competent, they're fit, strong, handsome, got the life that you don't have, they're rich as hell, they've got the girlfriends, they've got the car, they've got the private jet, da, 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 da. only on social media you can see that. In actuality, 
what type of person, what type of individual it is. It's not a one percent type of individual. It's a zero point one percent type of individual. The large majority of men are invisible, lonely, sad, slightly depressed. But you still shouldn't cry after all of that. So then you should use that negative energy to push it towards like positive, so you can actually get something done. I think men thrive on a negative energy. Anything. And it could be like, it could be like it's, it's two sides of the same point. You can see that completely crumble under it, but if anything, I'd be that you thrive under it. Because those negative emotions is the spark for you to change. You know? If you're crying while something, that has to be something that's frustrating you. And it doesn't matter what it is, it can be something small, like some Minecraft server. Thinking you're walking time, Minecraft world got fucked up. My friend, I, I have to be before, my friend. He just griefed everything, he just blew, blew everything to smithereens. I feel really sad, I feel more feeling really sad. But then instead of just wallowing and going back to Minecraft, I was like, no, I'm just going to do it in real life instead. Find something that's frustrating you and change it. Catch you guys in the next video.